Welcome back to Court Cutting Today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of court cutting, including YouTube TV losing 150,000 subscribers. We'll tell you why, what's happening. Talked about it a little bit yesterday, but there's some interesting things here I want to go further into detail. DirecTV and DirecTV Stream are adding more channels, and AT&T really wants to stop paying for your free HBO Max, now called just Max. We'll tell you what's happened there and more in a minute. First though, before we get into it, if you want to learn more about any of these stories, I will put a link to each story in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. You can read them down there yourself. Second, if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. With that said, Let's dive in. All right, YouTube TV has lost 150,000 subscribers in the first quarter of 2024. This comes as every major TV, uh, live TV service has lost subscribers in 2024 so far. Now with that, that um, YouTube TV for a long time was one of the few that still may had subscribers coming in. Now we talked last week or yesterday about how uh, the end of the NFL season probably had a big part of that. But one of the things I really want to kind of jump in here a little bit and talk about is how over 13,000 people are canceling Dish, Comcast, and Spectrum. Just those three companies alone every single day. From running some rough numbers here, it looks like somewhere close to um, six to 10,000 people Every day are becoming cord cutters in the first quarter of 2024 when you look at all the ones out there. I personally believe it's probably closer to the six to 7,000 range, but it's very interesting to see that. Six to 7,000 people are canceling, or excuse me, 16 to 17,000, I apologize, 16 to 17,000 people are canceling cable TV every single day out there. Those are a huge amount of people canceling uh, every month. And with that, it moves into every um, year. So that raises the question, how long can these companies keep going? That's a good question. I still think there's a lot of what's called runway ahead. How long can cable TV companies keep offering their service before it becomes unsustainable? Well, for many small ones, maybe this year, I do believe that like we saw last year, a handful went out of business or shut down their TV service. I believe we'll see many small to mid-sized cable TV companies walk away from television, either partner with a streaming service to take over or just get rid of it and tell customers to go do whatever you want to do so they can focus on phone and internet. Overall though, I do think we're about five to 10 years away from ones like Comcast, Spectrum, or DirecTV walking away from it. There's still a lot of people out there. I was just helping my 80-some-year-old um, 80, 80 grandma be able to watch the Tigers because they're not on Comcast anymore. It was not easy to explain that to her. You know, it's just not what she's used to, and after so many years, it's a very difficult to decide what to do with it. Now, ideally here, in the future, streaming will become easier and easier. You and I who grew up with this now or are used to it, if you're in your 40s, 50s, or 60s even, if you're used to doing it, as you come into your 80s where it becomes harder and harder to learn new stuff, um, it'll become easier. I realistically expect in the next five to 10 years, 90% of cable TV companies will not exist as they exist now. One thing's propping up satellite companies is people in very rural areas. Now we're seeing things like SpaceX and Amazon's new home internet bring that there. It really does make me believe firmly that in the next five to 10 years, cable TV companies will no longer exist as they do today. Give me your prediction. How fast do you think cable TV will die? I'd love to hear from you. All right, DirecTV, speaking of satellite, has added five new channels from Lionsgate with the goal of adding about um, 20, uh, a couple dozen, I should say, with that. Now, Lionsgate, these are free channels available on different platforms. DirecTV and DirecTV Stream customers are adding them. It includes things like Movie Sphere, premium movies from Lionsgate, Her Sphere, female driven stories, and other channels coming to DirecTV and DirecTV Stream. These channels are now live on DirecTV and DirecTV Stream. Link in the show notes down below if you want to learn more about those and get a full channel list. AT&T really wants to stop paying 
for your free Macs. Now, if you're on one of the grandfather AT&T unlimited wireless plans, these are older grandfather plans that are no longer offered. Um, you can see how they offer uh, free con or uh, with these, they offer free HBO Max at a time, now just called Max. Now, over the last few months, they've been increasingly cutting people off. If they think you no longer qualify for one reason or another, they've been cutting off access to the free HBO. Now, with this, the reason they're doing it is because back when they were the sole owners of Warner Brothers Discovery, they spun that off into a deal with Discovery to create Warner Brothers Discovery. You can call that a sales spinoff. It's a business. There's a lot of business terms there, but in in the short end, they took some cash from Discovery and some other assets and spun off Warner Brothers Discovery to Discovery, or Warner Brothers to Discovery, creating Warner Brothers Discovery. But because of that, now all these customers on free Max plans who get free HBO Max, now called Max, they have to pay for it. Where in the past, it was just kind of an internal write off kind of situation. Well, these plans, many of these plans that offer that are seeing price hikes as high as $20. $10 per line, up to $20 in total, the way we read it, according to the information there, um, on the plans. The plans, these older grandfathered, no longer offered unlimited plans are the ones that offer max. Well, $10 to $20 is about the cost of max. It's very interesting to see that these plan, the ones they're targeting are mostly the plans that offer the free max subscription with it. Now, again, AT&T no longer offers these. They offered these plans as a way to incentivize people to subscribe to um, AT&T's profitable unlimited plans in exchange to get free HBO Max at the time, now Max with it. Now they've been slowly trying to push people off of it, and I firmly believe that this price hike is one more attempt to get people to switch to other plans out there that are a little cheaper now that do not include HBO Max or Max with it. If you're a fan of Korean content in our next story, there's a new both free streaming service and a subscription one called Binge Korea, now offers free channels coming to different free ad supported streaming services and a new subscription service if you'd like to subscribe to their ad supported um, on demand service with it. Pretty nice little setup here. Now, tons of free Korean content. Uh, I know maybe not your cup of tea, but it's a very popular um, genre there that has been kind of hard in the past in the United States. And this is the, to watch. Since streaming, though, it's become increasingly easy. Now it's even easier as it's available with free ad-supported live channels and, and demand through a growing number of services. And that's the great thing about streaming. Anime is another great example. It used to be hard to get anime content in the United States. Now I can subscribe to streaming services dedicated to nothing but anime and watch tons of it on different things like Netflix and Hulu and the list goes on and on. That's a really great thing about streaming is you have the ability to get the content you want easily. So check it out. Link in the show notes if you want to learn more about that. I love it. Even if it's not your thing, it's really great to see so much content come into the United States. All right, Netflix is looking for a partner to help it with its NFL games. Netflix will air two NFL games this Christmas and, and an NFL game every Christmas for the next couple of years, at least one. Now with this, Netflix is looking for a partner like NBC Universal, Fox, or Paramount in order to produce the games. So this is much like how NBC Universal produced the first season of Amazon. I mean, Amazon didn't need to go buy all their own equipment and get all their own hosts and like. Now with this deal, it, Netflix is hoping that a third party company will come in and produce the actual game so Netflix can air it and then give them a small revenue cut of it and they can still make a profit off of it without needing to go hire all their own staff, all the cameras and equipment and satellite trucks and the like that will be needed to broadcast this game. No word on who that is yet, but they are looking for it. And our last story before we get into the question of the day, Pluto TV is adding 25 new channels. Um, there's a new deal. Now, a lot of these channels are actually channels they already offer here in the United States are coming to other parts of the country, like Price is Right Bob Barker, or other parts of the world, like the Price is Right Bob Barker era. One of my favorite ones on Pluto TV. But it's coming to other countries now, and there will be a collection of channels in the United States that'll be new. Also, if you want to see what they announced there, link in the show notes down below. All right, question of the day. If you have a question for me you want me to answer, start off with a question for Luke. Um, try to start it that way in your comments so know it's something you want me to answer in one of these videos. 
Today's question is pretty simple. MeTV Tunes is running a promo ad on the channel. Yep, yesterday they started doing that. Um, so viewers should rescan. I've been getting a lot of follow-up questions is where will you be able to watch MeTV Tunes? Now, MeTV Tunes is a new joint venture between MeTV and Warner Brothers Discovery that air, will air tons of classic cartoons, much like old Boomerang. A lot of the content that used to be on Boomerang is now coming to MeTV Tunes, launching next week on the 25th. A great lineup there. So how can you watch it? Well, if you go to the MeTV Tunes website, just Google it. They actually have a way to enter your address. It will be available on Philo and Friendly if you would like to subscribe to watch it. Not all MeTV markets have it. The team behind this has been very clear that they are still in talks to bring it to more markets, either at launch or shortly thereafter. So just because your market may not be listed, don't worry. They do say a free version is coming to free ad sports streaming services. They haven't said which ones, but ones like Tubi, Pluto, Freebie, and the like are reportedly supposed to be getting it. We'll have to keep a close eye on this to see what's coming that way. But for now, uh, that's coming, and I'm not sure that's going to launch on the 25th, but the network will launch. The free ad supported version will be different than the paid version you get through Friendly and Philo. Well, there you go. That's what you need to know about that. If you have a question, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'll be back again next week. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. Take care. Be safe. I'll be back again soon.